Are you in search of an effective manifestation technique? Are you tired of the usual manifesting methods and looking for something refreshingly simple yet potent? If this resonates with you, you've landed on the right video. In today's discussion, we're delving into a technique inspired by Neville Goddard. This method has personally transformed my perspective on manifesting and strengthened my belief in the law of attraction. What's remarkable about this technique is its simplicity and its minimal requirement for effort. So, if you're someone with patience and a genuine desire for change, stick around. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. For newcomers, I'm dedicated to sharing intriguing manifestation techniques and insights into attracting your desires. If this intrigues you, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Today, we're exploring a technique inspired by Neville Goddard, a renowned manifestation teacher. This technique is called the Isn't It Wonderful Technique. Unlike other methods, it doesn't demand unwavering certainty about your desires. It's potent and remarkably effortless. To make this technique work seamlessly, you need to tune into your feelings. Your desire is likely something you crave intensely. That's why you're trying to manifest it. The core of manifestation lies in the desire for something significant in your life, whether it's a romantic partner, financial abundance, or a peaceful, supportive environment. But often, there's a barrier, an internal demon that seems to obstruct your path and hold you back from your desires. You're not alone in this struggle. Many manifestors encounter this internal obstacle, whether they're seasoned or just starting out. This internal struggle is a daily battle for many. So, how can you make your manifestation technique deliver rapid results? The key is to shift your feelings. What does this mean? It means becoming acutely aware of your emotions regarding your desires. If you aspire to reach a high-ranking position in your job, such as a manager or CEO, you must examine your feelings about that role. Why do you desire it? Is it because someone else excels in that position and you aspire to be like them? Or was it your initial goal when you started your job? It all starts with identifying your feelings. When you seek signs from the universe, remember that these signs are meant for you. They'll reveal themselves to you naturally, often through numerology, astrology, or other signs. You don't need to go hunting for them. Instead, focus on the manifestation technique you're using. Don't worry about tomorrow. It's not worth your energy. Trust that what's meant for you will come to you. Now, let's dive into Neville Goddard's Isn't It Wonderful technique. This technique doesn't require unwavering certainty. You can have multiple desires, and this technique still works wonders. It's effortless, demanding only patience. To make this technique work effectively, start by identifying the feelings you'd experience once your desires are fulfilled. It might be excitement or even deep emotional satisfaction. To succeed, put your mind to it. Ask yourself, what will I feel when my desires are fulfilled? Understand these feelings intimately. But why is this identification of feelings crucial? It's because the initial feeling you experience when you begin to imagine your desired outcome often mirrors the feeling you'll experience when your desire is actually fulfilled. It's like a sneak peek into the emotions of your ultimate success. To attract your desires, you must identify these feelings and genuinely feel them. This is where the Isn't It Wonderful technique shines. Unlike some other techniques, it doesn't rely on assumptions or vivid imagery, which can be challenging for some. Instead, it's all about feelings. Now, Neville Goddard added a crucial element to this technique, feeling these emotions as you drift into a state of deep sleep. Before you begin, relax your mind. Your day might have been filled with ups and downs, and you don't want those distractions interfering with your practice. 
engage in activities like meditation to calm your mind. Once you've achieved a state of relaxation, focus on the emotions you'd experience when your desires are fulfilled. If you've already achieved a similar desire through manifestation before, recall those emotions. Let them wash over you. In this relaxed state, your conscious mind is quieted, allowing direct access to your subconscious, the gateway to manifestation. Now that you're in touch with your subconscious and experiencing these emotions, hold on to them for as long as you can. Repeatedly say the phrase, isn't it wonderful, while maintaining that emotional state. This repetition, infused with positive energy, tricks your brain into feeling as though your desire is already fulfilled. The longer you remain in this state, the faster your manifestation will materialize. To maximize the effectiveness of this technique, drift into sleep while maintaining the emotional state and repeating the phrase. If you can secure at least seven hours of sleep, your brain remains in a positive, peaceful state for an extended period. There's no set time frame for this technique. You can practice it as often as you like. If you have a specific desire in mind, visualize the end result. Picture it vividly. This approach closely resembles the law of assumption. Imagine your desired outcome, repeat the phrase, isn't it wonderful, and fall asleep while maintaining this focus. You can even write down your desires on a piece of paper to reinforce your intention. And that wraps up this video. If you've made it this far, thank you for tuning in. If you found this content valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content like this. Your support means the world to me. Thank you.